Hey Northside, Dan here and uh, wanted to just make a quick video to give you an update on um, our streaming ministry at Northside. And so if you've been with us the past couple of weeks, you know that we have been able to leverage um, our streaming ministry to stay connected despite um, not being able to meet together. And um, it's been phenomenal. We're so thankful that, that you've been so engaged and so receptive to this. Um, and it's been, it's been great to worship together, albeit virtually and, and different. Um, just to give you a couple of statistics, um, just this past week, we had over 130 families watching live, uh, which is incredible. Um, over 3,000 views. So that means people you know, from around the community and even potentially around the world as you hit that share button um, were, were viewing the service. 7,000 were reached, which means 7,000 times Northside Community Church, again, because of you hitting that share button, showed up in someone else's Facebook feed. So 7,000 um, people were reached, um, potentially for the first time even, um, with the good news of Jesus Christ. And so um, we also were able to leverage technology to hold a virtual youth group on Sunday night. Um, over 20 folks tuned in for that and were able to connect um, actually on this platform here. I'm recording this video on Zoom, uh, working from home, practicing social distancing like so many of you are, are today as well. Um, and so uh, we're thankful for technology. We do wanna let you know as well though, um, we're not the only church that's leveraging technology. In fact, virtually all of them are. Um, and we, we work with a company, a third party behind the scenes to um, deliver some of our content to you through our stream. And that platform alone um, indicated that uh, their uh, attendance or the number of people tuning in to watch streams quadrupled last week um, compared to their normal weeks. Um, there were 12,000 new churches alone that, that signed up to utilize this new platform. And it's estimated that 80,000 churches were trying to stream services last week. And so if you were watching our service live, you might have noticed in the middle of it, um, it kind of just abruptly froze and ended. Um, that was due to an internet service provider issue, uh, meaning we were still live, we were still um, sending you our service, um, but our internet service provider um, encountered an, uh, an interruption um, which caused a temporary lapse of our connection. Um, and we've actually put a safeguard in place to do that this week, uh, a safeguard in place to protect against that this week, um, if it were to happen again. But just, we wanted to share the statistics with you, one, to rejoice and to, to say, wow, that's, you know, 80,000 churches still um, out there worldwide trying to bring their message, um, utilizing technology. But with that, it's a tremendous um, uh, a resource uh, needed to, uh, allow each of these churches to stream and for all these people at home now to be using their internet to connect. And so what we wanted to share with you was just to recognize the volume and to realize that even if you tune in regularly to our stream, this week could be a little different again. We certainly hope we don't have any technical difficulties, but if we do, if it were to tell you that our broadcast um, was interrupted, uh, which means that you might be watching and it kind of just freezes, we ask at that point that you just sort of hang right where you are, give it about a minute or two, um, probably two full minutes um, before you do anything. And because what that means is that there's just been a pause in, in the feed reaching you. Um, and it might just be a Facebook congestion issue or it could be an issue on our end uh, trying to upload uh, live as we stream. And so if it says interrupted, um, just hang there for a moment. Um, if it says that the stream has ended, um, that means that we've completely lost our connection as we did last week. You need to go ahead and stop viewing wherever you're watching, whether it be on your TV or your device, and then refresh the page, the north side page, and look for a new stream. Because what that means is we may possibly have to create another one. We actually don't anticipate this happening. Um, if it happened at all, it's probably gonna be the first scenario where we're interrupted and you would just be able to hang tight. Again, that's the safeguard we're putting in place this week um, to potentially protect us from dropping a stream. So um, we're thankful that you've tuned in. We're thankful that you've been so engaged. Um, and we thankful, we're so thankful that you continue to share the service to your family and to your friends and so many people that um, really are craving um, this type of connection and to just hear, the, hear some good news and hear the good news. And so again, thanks for bearing with us. Um, we're so excited about what this Sunday will bring. We'll be live again at 10 a.m. Um, right there on Facebook Live. And if you don't have Facebook, um, you can catch the service right after. Um, we'll be uploading it to YouTube. But also, if you don't have Facebook, you can still go use your laptop um, or computer to go to facebook.com slash northside.nightdale, um, facebook.com slash northside.nightdale, 
Um, and without creating an account or signing in, you'll be able to watch our video live still on a, on a computer. Um, so that's certainly an option as well, or you can wait um, until about 1130 and that service will be live um, uh, uploaded there to, to YouTube. And uh, so we're looking forward to connecting with you. Thanks for my, so much for watching this video and for just hearing a little bit about, um, you know, what's going on worldwide with streaming. Again, um, you know, we, we praise God that, that so many people are tuning into church. Um, again, our platform, Church Online, uh, particularly, uh, they experienced a doubling of the number of people that reported salvations this weekend as well, um, compared to pre uh, typical weekends. And so, Great things happening. Thanks for bearing with us. Again, we're, we're looking forward to connecting with you again this Sunday at 10 a.m. And we hope you have a great rest of the week. God bless you.